Blah, blah, blah. back to my channel. I'm Countess de Monique and today I'm going to show you how to get this vampire look using the new Fenty Uninvited lip paint. If you like this video please continue to watch. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Let's get started. So since I want to be going for a really matte look I'm going to really moisturize my face and I'm going to start by using the St. Eyes Renewing Collagen and Elastin Moisturizer. I'm going to put a lot of this on my face and then I'm going to spray my Mario Podesky spray. It's so hard doing my face with these nails on because I'm just not used to wearing long nails. It's not my thing. You have more power to the people that can put up with it. And I also like this Mario Podesca spray because it makes my face a little bit tacky. So it holds onto the foundation and the primer a little bit easy. All right, so I think my face is pretty moisturized. Um, next thing I'm going to do is work on my eyebrows and today I want my eyebrows to be very blunt and very dark. So I'm going to just go in with, let's see I find it. I'm just going to go in with this Anastasia Beverly, Hill, Beverly Hills um, Brow Wiz in dark brown and then I'm going to use some black eyeshadow to darken it up. So I'm just going to use this as kind of like a, a base. I'm just going to stop there and go on to the other side. All right, so I'm gonna take this um, Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. This is the, what is this? The Dark Magic. And I'm gonna take this angled brush from the Brow Gal. And I'm gonna go in with Temptress, which is the black color. And I'm gonna darken up my brows. Right, so I'm gonna use this Angel Veil Primer from NYX and I'm gonna put this all over my face just to blur out any pores. I wanna use a little more than usual today because I want my face to be really airbrushed because in my mind, that's what a vampire would look like. And I'm kind of um, getting inspired by The Vampire Diaries. I really love that show. I also watched the originals um, unfortunately, I was a Twilight fan. I read all the books. I think I read them twice in high school. And then I also really enjoy, so embarrassing, I really enjoy watching Transylvania, the Transylvania cartoon movies. I love them. Um, the last one came out on my birthday and I had to go see it. I had to see it. So you could say I kind of have a thing for vampire. So I'm gonna let that set. I'm gonna start on my eye makeup and my eye makeup is gonna be really simple and really easy. Everything is gonna be really dark colors. Ooh, excuse me. So I'm gonna start out with a fluffy brush and I'm gonna go back in with Temptress, the black and the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to put some on the brush and tap off a lot of the um, excess. I had to make sure I get the word right because a lot of people mess up excess and access and it really messes me up. So this is going to be really blown out.
and I didn't prime my eyes today. One, because I didn't feel like it. Two, because everything's gonna be super blown out. So it doesn't matter if it looks like perfect. The next brush I'm gonna use is a flat round brush. It has purple on it, but it's fine. It's the Morphe um, 167. I'm gonna go back in with Temptress and I'm gonna pack the black onto my lid as dark as possible. I'm gonna get another fluffy brush and I'm gonna take the color, I'm gonna mix Mojo and shh, these two, this one and this one. I'm gonna mix those and I'm gonna blend those out in the, on the edges. And now I'm gonna take another fluffy brush but this one's more tapered on the end. It's the Morphe M433. And I'm going to take my TARDIS Pro palette and take the color Drama. It's this burgundy right here. And I'm gonna smudge this on my lower lash line. Actually, I'm gonna mix Mod and Drama, these two modern drama because I need some more like red burgundies underneath and I'm also going to bring this color really low okay, I'm going to stop for, on the eyes for just a second I'm going to put on my foundation so I can continue to work on my lower lash line um, since I am going for a really matte look, I'm going to use my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop um, foundation. So this on the back of my hand. And I'm gonna. This is gonna be. I'm gonna put a lot of layers on. So I got my Morphe sponge. I also got a bowl of water over here, so I don't have to get up. Okay, now I'm gonna take my um, Laura Mercier powder and I'm going to set um, where I put the concealer. So I'm gonna leave that on for a minute or two and I'll be right back. So this, I let this sit for like two minutes and I'm gonna just buff it away and blend the extra on my face. I normally never let it sit that long, but since I'm going for a super matte look, that's what I did. I'm really freaking myself out with these eyes. I'm not used to seeing myself like this. My mom bought me contacts because I wear glasses. I wear glasses. I don't wear them like I'm supposed to, but I, my mom bought me some contacts that last me six months. And I wore them for maybe a month. I only opened up one box out of six. And yeah, I just, I don't like putting them in. I don't like the way they feel. I can like feel them whenever I blink and it's just super, super uncomfortable. All right, so I'm gonna contour my face using my True Complexion Contour Palette from Black Radiance. And I'm really gonna um, make my face look um, chiseled. So I'm gonna go in with the darkest color. I pinch my, I'm gonna pinch my brush. I'm 
leave it like that for a minute. Do the other side. So I'll make sure I'm blending up, but I still want to keep that sharp line. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it like that. So normally on a regular day, I would continue to blend, but I want my face to be really snatched. And I'm gonna take this smaller brush and I'm gonna contour my nose. Right, so my nose it looks very thin now and I'm gonna go back to my um, Mario spray just because I shouldn't talk when I spray um, just because my face was feeling super dry like it was uncomfortable and I'm gonna go back in with my Tardis Pro Palette and smudge out my um, lash line again. And actually, I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild pencil first, then I'm gonna go back and smudge it. So I'm gonna put on a lot of eyeliner. And this pencil was from Wet n Wild. And I'm gonna go back in with that brush I used earlier. And I'm gonna take Mojo and Drama. Mostly, no, that's not Mojo, that's Mod and Drama. And I'm gonna go back and start smudging out again. I'm gonna go back in with that fluffy brush I used at the beginning just to smoke this out or blow it out. Sorry, blow it out. Yeah, I'm gonna stop there. Then I'm gonna take. I think I'm gonna take Trendy right here and put this in my inner corner. So now for the, the veins going down my face, I have some face paint, it's water-based. Um, I heard somewhere that the water-based paints work better than the oil-based. So I'm gonna use this black, and maybe a little bit of the brown, use the black, and I'm gonna draw little veins um, going down my eyes. All right, so I'm gonna use this thin brush. I'm gonna do small strokes. I'm not putting a lot on the brush.
And I'm gonna add some white in places just to give it some dimension. I think I'm done with my eyes for now. Now I'm gonna work on my lips and I'm gonna do the dripping blood. So I actually bought the new Fenty Beauty, was this un uninvited? And I'm really excited to use it for the video. And then I'm gonna have blood um, dripping down on the sides. This applicator tickles my lips so bad. Okay, so I'm gonna give that some time to dry. I will say it does take a long time for it to dry. All right, so while that's drying, I have um, this gel blood and I'm gonna use it to drop some blood down the sides of my lips. All right, so I put a lot of it like near my mouth, like a lot of the um, blood, and now it's falling down my face. So I kind of need to lay down and let this dry. And then I'm gonna come back, add some liner and lashes, and I need to add my fangs. So I'll be right back after this dries. All right, so I did my fangs, and it's so hard to talk, but I'm gonna try my best. I have a little bit of a lisp. <laughs> I'm gonna put on my lashes. I already put on some mascara. I'll just use some Wet n Wild um, mascara. I'm gonna put these lashes on, and I think we will be done. So these things, you have to like mold them to your teeth. And they're so uncomfortable. Like, I don't think you can eat with them or anything. And I probably would never ever use them again. Oh yeah, I'm glad I added lashes. At first I wasn't. I'm glad I did. All right, so I need to work on this right here. Just because it looks, I want the veins to kind of be underneath my skin. So I'm going to, mm, I'm gonna take a little bit of my foundation, like just a little bit, like that much. And I'm gonna use my sponge and kind of cover up um, the veins. I'm gonna leave this very, very little. I think my mouth is too small for these things. It's so hard for me to talk. And all I want to do is do blah, blah, blah. So I want to mix the shape tape with my foundation and cover up some of these things. Just because I want them to look like they're under the skin. 
and not just on top. Yeah, I think that looks so much better to sitting on top. And I'm gonna set again, just a little bit. Yeah, it looks so much better. And here is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I can't talk, but if you like these kinds of videos, please subscribe and don't forget to give me a thumbs up.
blah, blah, blah.